hi welcome um long time since i've done this but i'm back i'm at european champs um as you can see i'm in kit ready to go out on course i just need to get my gopro out my bag get that on my bike is set up i'm gonna ride griffos today i think it's it's dry but it's windy so and like i think potentially it's been a bit cold overnight on the ground so we'll see how it goes i've got literally riding in a long base layer and a like a kind of summer long sleeve so i'm kind of hoping that'll be warm but if i'm not well <laughs> just have to ride harder um but yeah staying with gb so we're staying at some accommodation that's about 20 minutes away um so yeah i'm gonna do three laps of the course i think and then ride home just gives me a bit longer on the bike ready for tomorrow get back put my feet up put some netflix on bit of gilmore girls can't go wrong <laughs> Yeah. Simple. Okay. So, for the moment, that's the best. Thing. Okay, this is the current state of me. Let me uh, give you a twirl. And then my socks, not bad. That's from carrying my bike because I decided um, to run up one of the thingies one lap. Like it's, it's um, the course is cutting up, let's say. Let me put you there. Um, I think by the time everyone's ridden it today, um, it's just not working. I think once everyone today has ridden it um, and course practice has been in the morning, I think it'll be a bit more cut up, but I think pressures are going to be the same. I'm riding 1.3 front and rear on a griffo, 1.3 bar on a griffo. Um, and I think that'll, that's what it's going to be tomorrow. Um, oh. Like, I don't really know how to describe the course. It's, it's weird, like, it's not what you'd expect because there's so many like switch back corners where you go like back up on yourself. But no, it's interesting. I really like it. It's a power course, so that suits me. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be good. It'll be weird though, because I've been racing every other time I've raced has been at two o'clock in the afternoon, half past two even. And no, half past one. And I'm racing at 11. So, that's when I'd usually have my second meal. But no, it's different. Um, and the mechanics are just cleaning my bike off. I'm gonna, I did three and a half laps. I don't know if I said that. I did three and a half laps. Um, I'm gonna chuck a rainbow jersey on. And I'm gonna ride home. It's only 20 k's, I think. So perfect hour and a half, hour 45 ride. 
Might take a waffle with me. Mmm. That's a good idea. Okay. I'm gonna go before I get cold. Ciao. Okay, I've just walked back. My coat is currently, oh, I just stood in water. Oh, oh no. Um, I'm losing my bottle. My coat is currently full of kit. I've got a skin suit, some zip offs, zip off trousers. Um, what else have I got? A jacket, um, some socks. And I rode my second jacket today, but I've got some spare ones from Road Worlds and track heroes in my bag that I brought with me. Um, I have no clue what time it is. Mm. 10 past four. I don't know what time dinner is. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna put Netflix on. And I'm gonna get a snack. Don't know what I'm gonna have, but I'm gonna get a snack. Um, I were back, it took me 47 minutes to do 21K. Something like that, maybe a bit further because I didn't start it in the same place as like where I was, wasn't where the route went from. Um, but yeah, this is the place we're staying. This is our little house. That one there, that is the junior boys. And I'm not really sure who's in, I don't even think that's any of us. Um, but yeah, no, I feel good. It's gonna be interesting. Climbed through the window. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I've been awake. No, like, when I went to the toilet, I actually went for a change. Right, and then I came back. There's again. loads of bottles of water. Coffee. 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 Co
Okay, so I've arrived at the course now. It's like half past nine, I think. Um, I just got my chamois on. I need to do socks here, um, pin my arm numbers. Um, and I've got my bag sorted. Just um, some extra layers for afterwards. Um, Emma is gonna take that. She's out of Swanee for the day. So she's taking my bag with just a bottle, some protein powder, um, and then to put our jackets in after the, um, like at the start line to give them back after the finish. So I've sorted that bag. Not really got anything else to do. I've got a half hour until I'm gonna get on the bike. Um, and then race starts at 11. So. my own. <laughs> that, why is that so bright? It's a video, that's why. <laughs> Is waffling. Marine alert. No, marine weather warning. Always good. 53.2k. And then I got 26k loop. Definitely it's gonna crash. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go now because we have to ride. Bye bye. Bog.
say I really enjoyed it not just obviously because I won but like the whole experience of being like my it was my first major championship at a cross race so um being there I found that really really fun and just being at cross races again I loved it and the course was really nice um, it wasn't too technical, like it wasn't really a technical course at all, so it suited me quite well. Um, and there was a lot of places where you could put power down, so that also suited me. Um, but yeah, like the whole race I felt really strong. Like the weekend before I, in Overlazer World Cup, I didn't feel great on the bike. Like I didn't feel myself and I went into the weekend stressing a little bit that I was gonna feel bad again but um I made sure that day before I did what I'd normally do on the bike um just made sure my legs were feeling good I did enough to make them like to open them out um I did a good warm-up I had literally everything on the day was perfect um apart from the fact that it was such a long ride from the camper to the start line um, apart from that, it was great, and there was no way that you needed to get off the bike, obviously apart from when you change bikes in the pits, because I changed every lap as well. I went, first lap I went into the pits, like, I literally changed bike every lap, um, because it was quicker than riding through the course, um, and my bike, I, like, I was at the start of the pit, so for me, I could get off the bike, jump back on my second bike and then I could still like get enough speed up to ride through the mud at the top of the pit which was really useful having it in that place um but yeah it was a really great race I really enjoyed it and the crowds were awesome and then I watched the what race was on after that and 23 boys I watched the start of that after I'd done anti-doping um, and then I rolled back down the hill to the camper, um, got changed and all that, and then came back up to watch the elite women's race, um, which was also really, really cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, and then the next day I had three hours on the bike. So I did that in the morning, missed the junior boys race. Um, and then I watched the under 23 women's and the elite men's race and that was just awesome because of course it changed like 
not loads, but enough to make a difference from when I raced the day before. So I could think in my head like, oh, this part I was going, I was doing this or taking this line or it looked like this. And yeah, it was just really interesting. But the whole weekend I loved it. It was so great and it was so nice to, like it was a different course, no one's ever raced on it before. So that was pretty cool to um, be the first race on there and the first person to win on it. So yeah, really good weekend. Um, that's me, over and out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs>